foodies welcome back to my channel my name is nicole if you're new here hit the subscribe button and join the foodie game hi my old foodies welcome 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 back today is sunday afternoon we just got back home from church and it is rainy if you live in wales you should know how this weather changes a lot so i thought i'm gonna do a delicious um mouth watering of the bone lamb shank with that said let's get down to it guys do enjoy if you like this recipe comment down below if you want to try it out try it out and let me know on my instagram or comment down below and tell me how it went did you like the recipe did you enjoy it was it really soft and succulent was it delicious you go ahead and tell me all about that when you do this recipe and you let me know about your experience okay so guys here are the ingredients as you guys can see i have my lamb shank over there um i'm using two lamb shanks yeah. <laughs> um and i'm using baby carrots you guys can use any other carrots i'm using one onion you can use two preferably and then i have two garlics here and yeah my flour i'll just be using a teaspoon of the flour and here we have our cooking oil and then we have our beef stock cubes the beef stock and then we have the seasonings here um the bay leaves um and we have the black pepper and we have the white pepper and then we have paprika <laughs> you can just use black pepper and white pepper but i prefer to use those ones as well um the potatoes are for the mashed potato but i might not use the mashed potato start with take your white onion slice them up nicely and then chop them up i actually make sure that i chop every little bits of it my darling because they could have Next up are my baby carrots. Um, if you are using baby carrots, you don't really need to chop them, but I was like, yeah, let me chop them up anyways. <laughs> so guys, at this stage, your stove should be on medium heat and then you heat up some olive oil. So now you can add your chopped garlic, chopped onions and your chopped carrots in the pot. So yeah, now you can add your lamb shanks along with the vegetables and allow them to fry for approximately 10 minutes. Um, allow the vegetables to brown or fry a little bit and your lamb shanks as well. This is the part where I, Nicole Morangi, add my seasonings, okay? <laughs> Do not come for me, honey. <laughs> so yeah, this is the part where you add your paprika, white pepper, and your black pepper. Okay, now we are adding our one tablespoon of tomato puree. Guys, at this point, you can remove your lamb shanks, but I decided not to remove mine. Yeah, and here is a tablespoon of flour. At this stage guys i added a splash of warm water to add to the sauce give everything one final stir and then one, add one bay leaf to the sauce and let everything simmer for a little bit okay, after a few minutes they are ready to they are ready for the oven so you just take them out but if you have a casserole that is oven friendly you can just directly put them in the oven so but now i had to pour mine out and put them in here and get them ready for the oven so guys remember to turn your lamb shanks halfway through your cooking so both sides can be cooked nice and soft Guys, just look at this dish and tell me, like literally, 
this meat looks so yummy already so i made some pop to go along with it because pop is life guys <laughs> oh guys just look at how soft how soft and yummy this meat is guys like literally so soft mm, 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 mm. guys i swear to god you guys should try out this dish so guys i hope you guys enjoyed that recipe stay tuned for more recipes loading meals with nicole if you don't follow me on instagram um i'll put down the handle down below here which is my personal instagram handle and the meals with nicole handle all right guys see you next time Toodles.